Okay, hello and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters Plus 1.16. In this video, we are going to be first running a raffle vault, and then, um, wait, where are my keys? Uh, uh, uh. Uh 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 Are they in a backpack somewhere? They're in a backpack somewhere, aren't they? Are they new? Are they new? Are they new? Are they new or you? There are none of them. Okay, it looks like we don't have any unidentified treasure keys. Uh, shoot. Okay, it, uh, crisis averted. I found them. They were in a. They were in one of the boss crates that was hiding in a corner. But in essence, what we're gonna do is now we're going to also grab a normal vault crystal. We're gonna run a raffle vault. See how quick we can complete it. All we need to do is get a time under uh, under five minutes in order to complete this ra raffle as a speed run. That's all we really need to do. So we go one forward and then we go head this way entirely. Lag out, of course, because that's what you got to do. Dash forward. Not find any of the obelisks because you're in a raffle vault and it's six obelisks because you got an unlucky roll. And just of course, it okay, and then we find two. See, all I gotta do is complain and then I find this stuff. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's like every time I complain is when I find the things, but if I don't complain, I get nothing. Also, I don't know. Why a random pillager outpost decided to spawn in the middle of that, but you know it did, so that's cool, I guess. Um, but now we're just continuing on, continuing to go, and this is supposedly the best route for optimal spawns of all the obelisks. So, ideally, you're supposed to get three to seven within this uh this route which is just a little wraparound thing but it's looking as if it's a little bit of a dud and we might need to do some other things to work around that because as it seems right now we might not even get this guy done in five minutes which is really obnoxious, because that's kind of the whole thing that this stems on, is that every every episode we run a raffle vault, but then this episode we run a raffle vault, and I'm not even going to have a starting initial speedrun attempt, because, uh, well, it decided to not be a speedrun anymore, and decided to just not want to... Of course, the explosion sound is just a sound. It's not actually an explosion. And one hour, one minute left on the clock. Two more obelisks here. We still need one more total. And that last one is right up ahead. So we may be able to get this guy in the time. I don't know how tight it's going to be or what the time is actually going to be for it. But... It seems as though we got it completed in 2 minutes 42 seconds. Okay, not not as quick as I'd like it to have been, but not crazy as long as I thought it had been, so. And fingers crossed, if we're lucky, we will get a artifact from this. So, it's a 1 in 20. Will we get it? And we didn't. That's fine. That's fine, though. And now, it's time to go into... The treasure rooms. Let's do this. Okay, so initially what we're looking for is outcroppings on the sides. And another thing that I can do is I can shorten the distance to 40, 64, and then turn on 
All these wonderful gems. Ores, rather. Toggle that guy on, and we found our first treasure room. Perfect. Right over here, of course. We find these treasure rooms wherever, but of course, the first one is Ashium, which we do have a key for, but I am going to need to get that thumbnail shot real quick. And then, of course, we will mine these guys with our fortune 50 pickaxe, which has taken us a long time to cultivate. If you want to see uh, how I got that, uh, I will have it in future episodes, but also uh, there may be more stuff in these episodes as well. Anyways, a bunch of really nice stuff in here. Some magnets, some Pandoras, some Star Wars, some Pogs. Artisan scrolls, bunch of Valkyr, looks like most of it's not actually going to be super great for us because it's looking like most of it is actually tier 1 still, which is just a byproduct of our level. Of course, I am going to be working through that to hopefully get stuff sorted so that um, we can actually get level 2 or tier 2 and tier 3 gear for the next ones but for now we're pretty much only going for treasure rooms in this vault so if we don't see a treasure room then there's no real point in staying so with this guy it looks like it is a bomb ignite we'll get another thumbnail shot of that guy because i'm just going to use two for the thumbnail because honestly that is good enough I really need to hire someone to do thumbnail and YouTube stuff, but I really don't want to because it costs money. I don't like spending money, but, you know, anywho, we did get so much stuff from these guys. Holy, okay. I'm thinking maybe the Scrappy Plus stuff goes, or maybe all the Tier 1 stuff goes, because this is, this is too good to be... Like, to be all kept, honestly. I'm just keeping it real. So, uh, epic, tier two, tier two, tier two, epic, tier two. I'm also taking out the scrappies. Epic, epic, tier two, tier two. Okay, so epics are all gonna be tier one. And then we'll take out the scrappy pluses as well. I don't need. I need the commons, actually. And then... Okay. We got you. We got you. Perfect. And then... Let's see what we get from you. A bunch of epic stuff. That's unfortunate. Of course, not not any more in the, in the second half of that, but, you know... We got a bunch of stuff to begin with, so I'm happy for that. All these artisan scrolls don't need the ME sword cells, unfortunately. I already have quite a few, um, but I just, I'm not using applied energistic storage. No real need to keep those guys, so we'll keep heading. And then after, I think, two more treasure rooms, then... I will... Ooh, two more treasure rooms. Three! Three treasure rooms right on top of each other. Four, okay. Okay, we might go for these all four of these guys if I have keys for all of them. Although it's looking like I don't have keys for at least one of them. <laughs> a little bit of a bummer there, but of course we don't have a ton of keys, so... Puffium and Escalium. I don't have a key for Escalium. That sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. What I'm also going to do is these gems. Uh, I'm going to leave a ton of the stuff. So, for like Beniatite and Laramar, since the amounts are so high, same with Wooderdai, uh, Alexandrite can stay in the backpack. 
Uh, we're gonna die, we can take out. I'm going to compress this into... Perfect. Uh, and we can get out as much as we can, but I'm not gonna be able to get out more than more than this, so yeah. Compressing it all into like two or three stacks would be so much better than anything else that I really could do. So we'll just do this and then leave that wood or die in there. Click all that into there. I'm gonna take the artisan scrolls because again Super, super useful for modifiers and such. And then the burgers, this stuff. The iron, iron level furnace, not really useful. Omega magnet core, not really useful. Hunter's eye is actually super useful. Same with the point of poisonous mushroom. Uh, don't need flux cables. Relics are always great. Those guys are always great. Okay. Just shift click everything I can into here. That one, pretty dope, honestly. And now we go up, I guess, because there's one more that I need to check out. Because it looks like three of the, or two of the three of those guys were duds for us, unfortunately. And then let's see, another scallium. Dang, that's a bummer. I, I will get all of the resources needed for the, uh, for the actual, whatever it's called, the vault, sorry, uh, I will get everything for it, just, like, I, I'm not gonna put that on camera, because it's just gonna be annoying and tedious, going around looting chests and stuff, but, bunch of funzoid as well, that's massive, actually, oh my gosh. Then we get all this stuff, more Beniatite, which we're not going to take, and then Black Opal, Catalyst Fragments, oh my gosh. The amount of loot in these treasure rooms is absurd. It's actually kind of crazy, because like this is the level of stuff that you rarely get anywhere. And we're just getting so much of it in here. Okay. That's going to be it for the treasure room. So now I'm going to need to get all of the loot uh, to put into these bad boys. So it's going to take me a little bit. But I'll take care of it. And I will see you guys afterward to go through our hall. Okay. Honestly, that didn't take too long. So able to get everything. Didn't take crazy amount of time. Happy about that. But we completed it, and now we just gotta go through, get everything else taken care of, go through this, and fingers crossed we did get an artifact from this guy. I know it is quite rare for scavenger vaults, but you never know, and looks like we did. That's a bummer. But, you know, on the whole, not terrible, not too bad, not too bad. So we'll grab everything else that we can, and we'll give a look at our haul. A bunch of stuff, a bunch of funzoid, or a bunch of different vault gems, of course. All the artisan scrolls, got a void orb, a bunch of black opals, some trader cores, some orb frames, which is quite nice. A bunch of pogs, a mega magnet cores, a bunch of perfect gems, a bunch of unidentified relics, which we'll roll here in a second. And we still have our keys. Which is perfect. We also have so many pieces of Vault gear to roll. So let's get to rolling these guys. I'm just going to roll them all together. Okay, let's see. What did we get? Commons. Okay. If we get an epic. If, if it's tier 2, I will keep. Ooh, epic and omega. We got tier 2 epic and omega, guys. Tier 2 omega. We're going to need to make a full new kit of gear, honestly. This is going to be so amazing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did we get anything nice on this row? One epic. One epic sword. 
One epic leggings. Chest plates. Nothing really. And rare. That one's going to be the better of the rares. So we'll take that guy. Of course, these guys will all get scrapped away. And let's go this row first. Then the second row, which will be all this stuff. And then last one, Vault Sword, of course. Let's see, did we get anything crazy good? Common, rare, common, common. All I really need is a helmet at this point. Actually, I have a helmet. Uh, those are tier 2 boots. Tier 2. Oh, I guess I did get some tier 2 Omega stuff already. We'll have to make a kit. And then common, of course. Unlucky, but had to happen eventually. And then what about you guys? Any of you guys tier 2? Looks like everything but the uh, epic is going to be tier 2. So let's roll all you guys. Get all of them taken care of. Smoke here and here too. Of course, there's going to be some epics, but three of you guys. Okay, anything Omega doesn't look like it's nothing too crazy. Rare. Not as good as our other chest plates. So, as of now, we've got helmet, leggings, boots, chest plates. The leggings are too, or the, that's too good. And then a mega idol. Way more levels than the Tenos idol. We'll scrap those guys. So that is going to be the end of this episode. But first, let me go through all of our unidentified relics. And let's make some burgers. Just see what level we can get to after that. So let's get you guys taken care of. Also, holy, the range is insane. And let's craft up all the burgers we can. Actually, I should probably... Eh, there's not a crazy amount in there. And then... Relic... Relics... Perfect. Eat all the burgers real nice and quick. <laughs> Level 211. Let's see if I have any stews in here. 23 mystical vault... Or mystery vault stews. So we'll... Oh, we'll go for all these guys as well. So, 211 from the burgers, 212 from the burgers. Again, you don't get uh, extra skill orbs for these guys, so you do need to earn them. But, what I will be doing is I will add bulls to this guy, so that what we can do is... Go like this, real quick. And then, we go through these guys. Then we get Mystery Vault Stews, 217, 218, 219, 220. Okay, so we're level 220 now. Which means we're almost there. Now we need to get all these guys. Of course, if we get any relics that we'll be able to make stuff out of. That's ideal. Let's see. It looks like we got an emote. We'll be able to make a couple of sets. But I will work on that as well in the meantime. And we have even more burgers to eat. So let's go through those guys. And then we also have knowledge stars to make from these guys. So let's go 12 of you. And then same with the skill. 8 skill, which is perfect. The talents, I do need to have them... Or the archetypes, I do need to have them not be exclusive. But as of now, we've gotten quite a lot of stuff taken care of, so I'm not really crazily worried about that. I'm going to eat all these burgers really quick, and then 
we'll be able to go through just kind of the rest of the stuff. Ideally, maybe we'll get to level 225. Fingers crossed. Okay, we're on the final like two or three. There we go. We got to level 228. And then we've got these guys to go. These guys to go. So what I'm thinking about doing with these guys is going glass cannon. Because glass cannon plus barbaric. And then we go frenzy on top of that. Um, maybe ward, because ward is kind of lit, but I don't know, maybe we increase our parry cap, lucky altar, um, what I'm thinking right now, I put him into dash, because, honestly, Two 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 and then three three. So we go three three. And the dash power will be at a eight, and the cooldown will be four seconds. So what we can do is we can go and then turn around and we go back. And overall it's just really nice and quick, and that's dope. So Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.